Good morning, my friends out there. How are you doing today? This is Josh with Desert Gardens Homestead. I'm out here in the garden and I am doing some early morning watering. I just wanted to show you a really neat plant. One that I just absolutely love having here right next to my chicken run. And I initially just started out with just a few of these little tubers and I stuck them into the ground, oh, five or six years ago. And so you are looking at a hedgerow of what's called Jerusalem artichoke. I like to call them fartichokes. And they are kind of like a potato. Uh, if you have diabetes, these are an excellent substitute uh, for potato. And I just really like this plant because it's an easy chop and drop for me to put right next to my chicken run. As you can see, if you look behind it, because my chickens can stick their heads through these pallets, they clean out a nice little row where, you know, the chickens will continuously munch on these when they grow next to the run itself. I can take a good handful of these leaves and just throw them into the run for the chickens. I can harvest the tubers to cook them and eat them. But also, in the late fall, they make beautiful little sunflower-like flowers, and it brings in all the butterflies, and it just is a really neat sight. And then once they perish at the first frost, they will die back to the ground. I use all the woody stems as mulch on the ground. And so they are just useful in every stage of their life from start to finish. They just started springing up here, oh, probably around the first part of May. So, you know, within three weeks, this is what they look like. They're reaching about three feet tall and there's gotta be, I don't know, hundreds of plants here. And they just make a really neat little hedgerow. They get about five or six feet tall by the end of summer. Um, depending on how much I utilize and chop them. And it's just a nice little privacy screen here. This is on the east side of my chicken run. And so they'll get, you know, right up to the top of that little chicken wire up there. And then it's just a nice little privacy screen where you don't really see the run. I like to try to do that with the main chicken coop and run. I like as many plants growing on it as possible. There's some goji berry growing there on the east side. I've got a Kai apple, which is a really neat fruit tree. I'll do a expose on here sooner or later. I have some May pop, which is the cousin of passion fruit with some more goji berry growing. The thing with goji berry is they continuously lose leaves and regrow leaves back. So it's not the most ideal uh, plant to put on but it's nice and then I think once you know given more years the woody stems will just hide the run itself on the west side here I have mo more goji berry along with blackberry uh, with some more goji berry and then grape down there by the uh, gummy berries but the purpose of this video was to show you the Jerusalem artichoke uh, I'm under the impression it can become invasive in certain areas. It never spreads beyond this little section here for me and I've got, I would say at least six years experience growing it. It's never ventured past that little point. Uh, but I've seen and read where if you're trying to eradicate it, you have to get every single little tuber because if you miss one, it's gonna grow back. But in my experience, at least here in the desert, I've never had issue. I have eradicated it from other areas. I have it growing in like two or three spots, but this is the main spot. But I've never had a problem getting rid of it. I've always been able to get the rhizomes. If I do miss one, I just pull that particular plant out, or not rhizome, but tuber. I just pull that plant out with the tuber and I can get rid of it pretty easy. Uh, but I think maybe if you were to till it up or something like that, it could be an issue and you know if you get a lot more rain than what we get here could be an issue so keep that in mind but if you have chickens if you need a screen for the warmer months 
If you need mulch or chop and drop, this is a fantastic plant. So give it a shot, just uh, put it into your landscape. Make it a integral part of your permaculture perma landscape and you will not be disappointed. I hope you're all having a blessed day today. Many blessings from Father and Savior above, and thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.